Let's talk about your LSU Tigers for just a minute. Miles Brennan, quarterback out again for a little while. They don't know how long he's going to be out, but he has a broken left arm. He is out for all of training camp. It's his non-throwing shoulder or non-throwing arm, it, right? It's forearm. Yeah. He's got a fracture in his forearm. And he's so this is Max Johnson's team now. Max yep. Johnson will go through all of the fall camp and he will have the he'll have the starter job whenever they go over to UCLA on Labor Day weekend. And I don't know what this means. Now everybody has talked a whole lot about Grant Nussmeyer, the I guess new supposed backup. He's possibly the future of this team. Going forward, I think that he was planning on kind of redshirting this year. Yep. But not having those two quarterbacks that are somewhat interchangeable because Brennan played well when he was healthy last year. Now Brennan's fine, and I think Brennan's yeah. gonna be fine. Yeah, I think I think, I think he'll come back. Fractured form. I think. Yeah. I, he yeah, he's probably gonna miss four to five weeks, maybe six weeks, something like that. But it's not like we're going to get deep into the dog days. Of, so we're not going to get into the middle of the end of October and Miles won't be back as a backup. So there's no reason to burn the red shirt. Yeah, I kind of think so. Uh, but but if you do run into an issue where something happens to Johnson, whatever, now there's we still have the four-game red shirt deal, right? Yes. So we're, we're going to be fine on that. It just kind of changes a little bit of the expectation. I still think LSU is incredibly dangerous, incredibly talented, a, a, a supreme wild card. Nobody well, I mean, knows there's a really world where this expect. changes nothing because right. Max was, it really I was I think he was the favorite flip. anyway. I yeah. say, well, I don't know if he was a favorite, but it was a coin flip situation. Nobody in the world thought LSU was any different if Max starts this year or if Miles starts this year. Everybody evaluating them did the evaluation based on the fact that if you think this team is going to be good, you think that both what Miles and Max brings to the table – are so similar and and so interchangeable that it really doesn't matter. And it's really not about them, but about the talent around them. Yeah. Uh, Matt Miller jumped in. He said, did T.J. Finley transfer, uh, or where did T.J. Finley transfer to? Uh, that was Auburn. Auburn. He is, yeah, he's TJ's the backup Auburn. for whatever. So, uh, I would love to, for him to win that game, but I just don't think he's going to win I don't that, think uh, so. that job. I don't did think they're going to let him. That's the problem. Do you see that Bo Nix was voted, uh, what is it, third team all SEC at media days by the media? Yeah. Like, what What are people watching? What is this? Uh, they're not. Gary, Gary, what is the media's job? Uh, write talk stories, up, right? Yeah, write stories, talk up players. Write stories. Whatever. So, so if they can create conflict and they can create a story, wouldn't they benefit from it? <laughs> yes, you would think so. You would think so. Uh, McKinnon said... I think, I think that's what they would do. Going back to that earlier story, uh, McKinnon said, isn't eBay supposed to be a pretty special DB too, or am I thinking of someone else? Uh, no, he... No, he wouldn't have got cut yeah. if he was special. Yeah, no, they, they would have figured this out. Um, <laughs> let's see, Matt Miller said, that's what happens when you combine guys who are set and go half ass with guys going all out who are trying to carve out a spot. This is talking about that yeah. same thing. Yeah, it's, it's kind of what happens in these situations. I'm surprised that we don't hear more of these, but uh, but yeah, that's the way it goes. But usually so. why you want the guys competing for a spot to compete against one another and not going up against guys who are safe yeah. is because you don't run into that. You know, There's no world where Christian McCaffrey is going to be running the drill with a guy who's trying to fight for a job because that guy has got to prove I can if I can catch Christian McCaffrey, then I can catch any running back in this conference and they're going to they're going to keep me. Yeah. But if you hunt Christian McCaffrey down, you lose your job because you hunt Christian McCaffrey down. Is uh so back to this Miles Brennan story, it, yeah. because it's his forearm, is there a chance you could put a cast on it, a brace on it, whatever and get him back within the first couple of weeks of the season, you think? I think so, but Huey would be the one to answer that more than I could. But I, I actually think, yeah, if it's a because it's not a break, it's a, not a clean break, it's a fracture. So, so it's not a fully broken thing. Um, it's probably going to take a lot of time to heal. But I don't know that there's a whole lot of damage he can do to it outside of. Well, I mean, he's playing football; he's going to get hit, um, and you're going to usually get hit on your offside. It, it could be a pain control situation. I don't know the answer to that. I, I, but here's the thing: I also don't think it's like more than a six week time period to heal anyway. Might yeah, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine it's going to be anything super crazy. And if um, we're four weeks before the season starts right now anyway, so you're talking he misses UCLA, he misses a high school game, and then then he could be back if he wanted. 
Yeah. Uh, the Athletic, Brody Miller, is the one that reported on it. it. said Brennan had a freak fall in which he landed on his left arm, tried to fight through the pain, and eventually went in to discover a broken humerus bone. It was brought or it brought back memories of Brennan playing against Missouri with a torn abdominal muscle and still throwing for 430 yards on adrenaline before missing the rest of the year. Uh, this time it might have crushed the fifth-year senior's hopes of finally becoming the star LSU quarterback. Uh, they don't have any kind of timetable as far as this goes, but... You know, I mean, this is a, this is a weird situation. Uh, it's a, well, I don't know that it's a weird situation. I just think it answers the question of who's going to be the starter. If they were yeah. already in a quarterback battle, the other guy just won the battle just out of situational. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, now... If, now Miles, my, if Miles comes back in six to eight weeks or whatever it is, Miles will come back as the backup. I believe that. Yeah, I believe so as well. Uh, he He's somebody that uh, that chose not to transfer, wanted to stay at LSU... Uh, you know, it is what it is. Matt, uh, let's see. Matt said structural integrity of the bone. So I guess, I mean, you got to make sure that nothing's going to happen, like uh, like the Conor McGregor injury, something like that. Which obviously, it's a forearm. It, it, so long as your offensive line plays well, like you ought to be all right. You know, and if you got a brace on it, you got a cast on it, something like that. I think it should be fine. Uh, Matt said continuing to take shots on it, uh, and the healing gets delayed. So I mean, if, he, if it's eight weeks. You know, I mean, we're at the very beginning of August right now. Get him back in time for October. Get some of those big-time games in. Yeah, that, that could work. Matt Miller said, uh, I mean, to be fair, the SEC quarterback play this year isn't great unless the young unknowns play really well. Matt Corral is the only known NFL player. Oh, and JT Daniels, I guess. Uh, Connor Basilak from Missouri, like, let's not, let's not count him out. Um, but other than that, no, no. I, it, the SEC quarterback situation is widely unknown, and, and Max Johnson played insanely well at the end of last season. So I don't think LSU is in major trouble here, just like Chris was talking about. So moving on. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.